Welcome to Health Pathfinders. Have you ever wondered if it's possible for adults to be newly diagnosed with ASD, also known atrial septal defect? It's a not a rarity. ASD often goes undetected in childhood, slipping through the cracks and revealing itself later years. It's crucial to understand ASD, its presentation, and how it's diagnosed, as it can significantly impact a person's quality of life. In this video, we'll take a closer look at ASD and how a 42-year-old woman was recently diagnosed. First, let's get a clear understanding of what ASD is. ASD, or atrial septal defect, is a congenital heart defect that refers to a hole in the septum, the wall that separates the heart's two upper chambers, the atria. This defect occurs during the heart's development before birth, and it allows oxygen-rich blood to leak into the oxygen-poor blood chambers in the heart. Now let's delve into the symptoms. Many individuals with ASD may not exhibit any symptoms, particularly if the defect is small. However, larger defects can cause noticeable symptoms, often later in life. These can include shortness of breath, fatigue, swelling in the legs, feet, or abdomen, heart palpitations or skipped beats, frequent lung infections, and stroke. ASD can be a silent troublemaker. Often, individuals with ASD may not know they have this condition until they're adults, which can lead to complications if left untreated. Over time, if too much blood is forced through the lungs, this can lead to an increase in blood pressure in the lung arteries, a condition known as pulmonary hypertension. Exploring the causes, it's important to note that doctors aren't entirely sure why heart defects like ASD occur. It seems to be a combination of genes and environmental factors. Certain conditions like Down syndrome are often associated with ASD. ASD affects the heart's functionality. The hole in the septum allows blood to flow between the atria, which can lead to lower the normal oxygen levels in the arterial blood supplying the brain and other organs. This is because the oxygen-rich blood gets mixed with oxygen-poor blood, reducing the overall oxygen content reaching the body tissues. The good news is, smaller defects may close on their own during infancy or early childhood. Larger defects, however, may require surgery to prevent complications, especially if the ASD is causing significant symptoms or problems. Now that we understand what ASD is, let's discuss how it's diagnosed. Diagnosing ASD in adults can be a complex process. Let's take a closer look at how this process unfolds. It often begins with a comprehensive review of the patient's medical history. Medical professionals will ask about any symptoms the patient has been experiencing, paying special attention to those that might indicate heart trouble. They'll inquire about breathlessness, fatigue, swelling in the legs, or heart palpitations, for example. But here's the tricky part. Symptoms of ASD in adults can be quite subtle. In fact, some adults with ASD don't even realize they have a heart condition until it's discovered during a routine checkup or while a doctor is diagnosing another condition. This can lead to late diagnosis, which in turn might delay the necessary treatment. After the review of the patient's history, a physical examination follows. The doctor will listen to the patient's heart using a stethoscope, checking for a heart murmur or other abnormal heart sounds. Yet, while these signs might suggest a heart issue, they don't provide a definitive diagnosis of ASD. For that, we turn to more sophisticated diagnostic tools. Imaging tests, particularly echocardiograms, play a crucial role in diagnosing ASD. An echocardiogram uses sound waves to produce detailed images of the heart's structure and function. It can help doctors see the size of the heart and its chambers, the way the heart is pumping blood, and importantly, whether there's a hole between the two upper chambers of the heart, which is the hallmark of ASD. Sometimes other tests like a chest X-ray, an electrocardiogram, or a cardiac MRI might also be used to gather more information about the heart's condition and to rule out other potential problems. In the end, diagnosing ASD is a meticulous process, requiring a blend of thorough medical history review, careful physical examination, and precise imaging tests. But the effort is worth it. With a proper diagnosis, effective treatment plans can be put in place. And that's what we're aiming for the best possible outcome for each patient. Now let's delve into a real-life case of a 42-year-old woman who was newly diagnosed with ASD. Meet Jane. She's a vibrant and active woman who recently turned 42. She's always led a healthy lifestyle, yet she began experiencing some unusual symptoms. She was often short of breath, especially after climbing stairs or doing any physical activity. She also noticed her heart racing even at rest, which was quite alarming. At first, she attributed these symptoms to her age, thinking perhaps she's not as young as she used to be. However, when these symptoms persisted, 
she decided it was time to seek medical advice. During her visit to the doctor, an initial physical examination was conducted, followed by an electrocardiogram. The results were somewhat concerning, and the doctor recommended further testing. This is where an echocardiogram came into the picture. An echocardiogram, or an echo, as it is commonly referred to, is a type of ultrasound test that uses high-pitched sound waves sent through a device called a transducer. This device picks up echoes of the sound waves as they bounce off the different parts of your heart, creating moving pictures of your heart on a monitor. Jane's echocardiogram revealed a significant hole in the wall between her heart's two upper chambers, known as the atria. This condition is called an atrial septal defect, or ASD. Jane was shocked by this revelation. She had always considered herself fit and healthy, and to be diagnosed with a heart condition was certainly unexpected. Her reaction to the diagnosis was a mix of apprehension and relief. Apprehension because she was unsure about what this meant for her future, and relief because she finally had an explanation for her symptoms. The role of the echocardiogram in Jane's diagnosis was pivotal. It not only identified the presence of the ASD, but also provided crucial information about its size and location. This information would be instrumental in deciding the best treatment approach for Jane. Jane's story underscores the critical role of regular health checkups, even when we believe we are in good health. It is through these routine checks that potential health issues, like ASD, can be identified early, allowing for prompt treatment and management. Her story serves as a reminder of the importance of regular health checkups. So, what have we learned from this discussion and case study? Let's take a moment to reflect on the key points and insights gained. We delved into the world of atrial septal defects, or ASD, a condition that affects millions worldwide. We learned that ASD is a congenital heart defect, a hole in the wall between the heart's upper chambers which can lead to a variety of complications if left untreated. We explored how ASD is diagnosed, primarily through echocardiography, a powerful tool that uses sound waves to create a detailed image of the heart. This non-invasive method allows doctors to view the heart's structure and function, crucial in identifying conditions like ASD. Our case study was a 42-year-old female who was recently diagnosed with ASD. The case highlighted the importance of regular health checkups and how they can lead to early detection of such conditions. As we saw, even at the age of 42, it's possible to discover a congenital heart defect for the first time. We also learned that ASD, like many heart conditions, can be managed effectively if detected early. Treatment options vary depending on the severity and type of the defect but can range from monitoring to medication to surgical procedures. This journey has underlined the importance of understanding our health and the conditions that can affect us. But we should not stop here. It's important to keep learning, to keep asking questions, and to keep an open dialogue with our healthcare providers. In conclusion, the earlier a condition like ASD is identified, the better the chances are for successful management and treatment. Regular health checkups are not just a routine procedure, they are a vital part of our healthcare journey. A proactive approach towards health can potentially save lives and improve the quality of life for many. Knowledge is indeed power, and learning more about our bodies and the potential conditions that can affect us is a step in the right direction. Remember, it's never too late to learn about your health and take control of it. Early detection can make a world of difference. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content.